Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Today I have a little bit of an unboxing to do. Just a little one. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicate. Alright, so this is something I picked up off of eBay. Nothing really special. As you can tell, whoever I got this from really didn't package it very well. Box is kind of messed up at the bottom, so I can pretty much peel this out pretty easily. So let's see what's going on here. All right, first off, I got a pair of Bluetooth headsets. These are uh, steel something or another. Yeah, don't look all that great. Anyways, guitar stand. What else? I don't see anything else here. All right. So, yeah, so we got a little guitar case over here. Guitar box, I mean. There's some other shit in the bottom of this. Looks like it is the charger for the headphones. Just see how those are. I'm not crazy about Bluetooth, Bluetooth headsets or anything, but yeah, they came with the guitar. So let's see what I got going on over here, huh? All right, so let's get things moving along over here. Get this box out of the way. Not feeling too hot today. Uh, reason being is I found out yesterday that a uh, good friend passed away, so I'm kind of like a little bit on the down and out about that. Um, yeah, kind of a sad thing. Uh, China guitar skeptic uh, found out through the grapevine. Well, not even really through the grapevine, but uh, from a close friend that uh, he passed on, and yeah, kind of sad about that. So, really sucks. So I'm not really kind of like enthusiastic or anything. Well, here's an Epiphone guitar that I ended up picking up off of eBay. The seller said that it was a open box. So yeah, let's see what's going on here. It's supposed to be a bunch of extras. So let's check it out. All right. So I got a bunch of Fender guitar picks, medium. Big deal. Epiphone. I got a shitload of these. Bumper sticker. Pretty nice guitar strip. That's actually pretty cool. Here's a pick. There is a Vox Classic Rock, which I think I have another one of these. All right, let's see what the guitar looks like. Can I tell that it's not a you know really 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 high end? But it is a Les Paul Special. Special too. see something here. Yeah, he really didn't detune it, did he, though? So I got some plans for this. So far, yeah, it just looks used. Got the cheap tuners on it. Not that much of a big deal as far as the way it goes. Volume, tone, three-way switch, tune Mac bridge, Humbucker, humbucker. The neck has been, it's got binding on the neck, which isn't bad. First fret action height's not bad. Neck is really straight. So the plan with this is, is you're gonna have to wait to see and find out. I am gonna strip down this top, leaving the back and the sides the way they are. And the reason why I went with a Les Paul Special 2, or Les Paul Special, uh, is because the neck is removable and the neck fits in my uh, vacuum bag because I am going to revive or redo this headstock on this. So you're going to have to wait and see what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to get this thing stripped down first and, uh, yeah, see what's going on, if there is anything going on with it at all. <laughs> 